Hi, it's Cheryl for Bayer's Pampered Stampers. Let's take a look at some new things from Penny Black. First up is a sentiment set. It's called Super Day. Wishing you a lovely day. Have a beautiful birthday. So much joy. Happy birthday, my amazing friend. Happy birthday to you. Have a super day. And a simple wish for a day that's filled with beauty. Nice, nice sentiment set. Again, that one is called Super Day. Next up is a sentiment set called Bloom with Grace. We make mistakes. Mistakes don't make us. Oh, that's a good one. Wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. It's all the little moments that make life a big adventure. It's a beautiful day to go after your dreams. Choose to live in the garden of happiness. Let your dreams be your wings. We need our dreams now more than ever, one step at a time. You are a blessing. If you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. It takes as long as it takes. Be gentle with yourself. How many of us need that reminder? Is that the truth or what? Here's a fun little stamp set. Um, it is called Lovely Day. And it features this darling little bear. The sentiment, wishing you a lovely day filled with special things. And you can see on the back, they've done a sample card for us using the sentiment and the little bear. Very, very cute. Now I love, hopefully you can see the detail on this cover plate behind because it's so so pretty and guess what we have the cover plate too this is called um all in one oval so when you cut it it's going to cut the rectangle piece as well as the oval piece you can use one or both pieces as you can see um, if we tried to use both with the bear it would just choke the bear out of the picture but, you know, the oval will be perfect for something else. So just set it aside. You've got a head start on your next card. How cool is that? Again, the stamp set is called Lovely Day. And the die set is called All-in-One Oval. So very cool. Next up, more of those fun bears. This one's called Daisy Darlings. Um, so we have our little guy here who's just holding the daisy and is so cute. He's got little flowers around him there and a butterfly if you want. He, the butterfly is separate. And then here's a gift bag with a bear that's holding a daisy. So very, very cute. And on the back, we see an example card done with that bear holding a daisy. And look at how cool that frame is on the outside guess what next up is that frame set this is called frame it makes perfect sense to me so you've got three sizes of frames this one appears to be the center frame this one here but you've got a big one that's almost card size this would be perfect for a sentiment got so many choices again just a really cool design so frame it for the dies and daisy darlings for the bears. How fun are they? Now here's a set that challenged me for a minute, but we got through it, right? It's called Blossoming. So it has four different styles of flowers and their names. The catch is their names are pretty much in French and spelled in French. So we have the Jonquil, which we know is the daffodil or the daffy, as I like to call them. The tulip, very, very pretty, kind of stylized here. Um, the rose, a rose is a rose in any language, right? And the coquilico, this is poppy. I learned something for this video. You're welcome. What can I say? Every once in a while, I have to sacrifice and check things out. Very pretty flowers. You can see they used our little poppy on the back. 
so very nice. It's nice to have a flower that size that you can use for a variety of different products. Oh, I'm sorry. No, they use the rose on the back. I sometimes don't follow their interpretation of flowers. Sorry. Um, I would have thought that to be more of a poppy, but clearly I'm corrected. It is their rose. So anyway, a nice, nice stamp set. They'll look great on your cards. Next up, we have a set called Captivate. Two different flower sets. This one, that's just a branch or a sprig, a little butterfly. And then here we have a vase with the flowers in. On the back, you can see they used the vase. They added a couple of butterflies here. Now we also have some of the other things necessary to make this card in stock. One is that Welcome Edger die. So this is called Welcome Edger. You can use it like this up at the top. You can use it down at the bottom. You can just disregard the edger entirely and just cut the big word. It will fit on your A2 card and look awesome. Now to go with that, we've got the To The Family. There's a smaller set, and this one's called Welcome Builder. It has To The Neighborhood, Welcome, Sweet Baby, Spring, Summer, Autumn, To The Team, Winter, To The Family, Sending Love and Blessings to the New Baby. So lots of pieces that you can mix and match in a lot of fun, fun ways. But I like to have some sets here where we actually have inspiration coming with it. There's their card. And they always do such nice cards. Um, again, whether you use the edger piece of the die or not is entirely up to you. Use the big word. It'll look great. Use the little words to support as they apply to your situation. And you end up with just a nice, nice card. So we've got Captivate, the Welcome Edger, and the Welcome Builder. Next up is Nature's Jewels. And I love the wildflowers, don't you? So very pretty. Lots of different ways you can go with colorways on this and lots of options for cards. Here's what they've done on the back. They've dropped this one from the top, which is kind of cool. That's a different way of going about it. And for this, they use the big word note. Guess what's also in stock? The note edger. So there's our note word, the edger die. You can see they cut it from the bottom. There's a flap at the bottom that holds this. They use the edger. It appears to cut around it. There's also a note builder die, just a, to say hello, to say I care, to send hugs, to say thanks, to say I miss you. Wow, we've got all the circumstances here to say I love you, to say I'm thinking of you, to say you have what it takes, to say get well soon, to say you're the best part of my day. So lots of fun, again, with this set, lots of inspiration here, a good thought on how a start for a card for sure. So this is Nature's Jewels, is the stamp set. The note edger is this die, and then this little stamp set is called Note Builder. And the three between the three of them, gosh, you've got versatility for a ton of cards. Next up is a die that is Berry Flourish. Very cool. Kirby Berry Branch for this one. You can see how they used it so subtly on this card. I like that kind of tone on tone. It's there, but it's very subtle. It adds so much texture and everything to the card, but it doesn't take over. Our focus is still on the sentiment and still on the flower that goes with. 
So very cool dye to get to add as a filler, really, in a lot of scenes or as an embellishment or a flourish to um, basic cards in an area where you weren't going to put anything else. So rather than having blank space, you have this and it looks great. And it's called Berry Flourish again. And last up, this one is called All in One Hexagon. It's another cover plate die that's going to cut and give you two pieces. One is this square, and I think it's probably around five and a half by five and a half, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then you have the hexagon inset, which is much wider, by the way, than that oval, which was kind of tiny. Um, there's the two pieces as they cut out. So lots of good possibilities for cards for this one as well. Um, gotta love the Penny Black. Penny Black always has the coolest designs. Um, go in the store, check it out. Remember to check the backs and see what have they done with things. And are there possibly other things that go with that I can get and get myself started with here. Um, there's so many choices. Oh, look, there's another one on the back of the welcome and on the back of that note builder. So there's so many things that you can do to build great cards using Penny Black. They give you lots of inspiration, so you don't have to be at your most creative always. And then, of course, you can always go off on your own and design something brand new that's just uniquely yours. Uh, be sure to go in and check out the full selection in the store. I know I've been a little behind on videos and, and that sort of thing lately. Um, hang with me. Hopefully that's over soon. But in the meantime, go to the store. Check out what's in. Um, I know there'll be something you like. Something to refresh your stash for the spring card making season. See you soon. Bye.